Captain Sarah Chen gazed out of the viewport, her eyes fixed on the swirling blue marble that was Earth, growing smaller by the second. The rumble of the engines reverberated through the ship as they accelerated away from humanity's cradle. This was it, the moment she had trained for her entire life. The first manned mission to Mars was underway. Sarah's mind wandered to the years of rigorous preparation that had led to this moment. The countless hours in simulators, the grueling physical training, and the emotional toll of leaving her family behind. But now, as the spacecraft Ares, I broke free from Earth's gravity well, a sense of exhilaration washed over her. All systems nominal, Captain, reported Dr. Alexei Volkov, the mission's chief scientist, his Russian accent thick with excitement. We are on course for Mars orbital insertion in approximately seven months. Sarah nodded, her eyes still fixed on the receding Earth. Thank you, Alexei. Let's hope it stays that way. The crew of six settled into their routines as the days stretched into weeks. Each member had their specialized tasks. Sarah oversaw overall mission operations. Alexei conducted various scientific experiments. Dr. Maya Patel monitored the crew's health. Engineer James Wong maintained the ship's systems. Pilot Lisa Rodriguez handled navigation and botanist Dr. Chen Wei tended to the hydroponic gardens that would supplement their food supplies. As they passed the orbit of the moon, Sarah couldn't help but feel a sense of awe. They were going further than any human had ever traveled before. The vastness of space stretched out before them, a black canvas dotted with countless pinpricks of light. The first month passed without major incident. The crew adapted to the zero-gravity environment, their bodies slowly adjusting to the new normal. They conducted their experiments, exercised rigorously to prevent muscle atrophy, and spent their downtime gazing at the stars or engaged in friendly conversation. It was during the second month that they encountered their first real challenge. A minor malfunction in the life support system caused oxygen levels to drop dangerously low. James and Lisa worked tirelessly for 48 hours straight to identify and fix the issue while the rest of the crew huddled in the emergency shelter, conserving air and energy. As Sarah watched her crew work together seamlessly to overcome the crisis, she felt a surge of pride. They had trained for scenarios like this, but seeing it play out in real time was something else entirely. When James finally announced that the system was back online, the entire crew erupted in cheers and embraces. The incident brought them closer together, forging a bond that would prove crucial in the months to come. They shared stories of their lives back on Earth, their hopes for the mission, and their dreams for the future of human space exploration. As they crossed the halfway point of their journey, the crew's excitement began to build. Mars, once a tiny red dot in the distance, was now visibly growing larger day by day. Alexei spent hours at the viewport, meticulously documenting the planet's features as they came into view, but space had one more challenge in store for them. Four months into their journey, a violent solar flare erupted from the sun, bathing the ship in dangerous radiation. The crew rushed to the radiation shelter, a specially shielded compartment designed for just such an emergency. For three tense days, they huddled together in the cramped space, monitoring the radiation levels and praying that the ship's systems would hold. Sarah led them in breathing exercises and meditation to keep panic at bay. When they finally emerged, they found that while some of their more sensitive equipment had been damaged, the ship's critical systems remained intact. The final stretch of their journey was a flurry of activity. They ran final checks on their landing systems prepared their scientific equipment and mentally steeled themselves for the challenges ahead. As Mars loomed large in their viewports, filling them with its rusty red hue, a mix of excitement and trepidation filled the air. The day of orbital insertion arrived. Sarah sat at the command console, her hands steady despite the adrenaline coursing through her veins. Lisa's voice came over the comm, calm and professional. Initiating burn for orbital insertion in T-minus 10 seconds. 
the ship shuddered as the engines fired, slowing their approach and guiding them into a stable orbit around Mars. As they circled the red planet, the crew fell silent, awestruck by the alien landscape below. Massive volcanoes, deep canyons, and vast plains of red dust stretched out beneath them. After a day in orbit, running final checks and selecting their landing site, it was time for the most dangerous part of their mission, the descent to the Martian surface. Cheers erupted both in the lander and aboard the orbiting ship. They had done it. Humans had successfully landed on Mars. As Sarah and Lisa suited up for their first extravehicular activity, the magnitude of the moment hit her. They were about to become the first humans to set foot on another planet. With a deep breath, Sarah opened the airlock and stepped out onto the rusty surface. That's one small step for a woman, she said, her voice thick with emotion, one giant leap for humankind. As she gazed out at the alien landscape, Sarah felt a profound sense of humility. Here they were, tiny specks of life on a vast, inhospitable world, yet they represented the culmination of centuries of human ingenuity, curiosity, and determination. Over the next weeks, the crew worked tirelessly. They set up their base camp, conducted countless experiments, and collected samples of Martian soil and rocks. Each day brought new discoveries and challenges, from dust storms that threatened their solar panels to the constant struggle against the planet's harsh environment. But perhaps the most profound moment came when Chen Wei, tending to his experimental garden in the habitat, noticed something extraordinary. A tiny green shoot had pushed its way through the Martian soil he had treated. It was small, fragile, but undeniably alive. Tears welled in Chen's eyes as he realized the implications. They had grown the first earth plant on Martian soil. As their time on Mars drew to a close, the crew prepared for their return journey. They had achieved all of their primary objectives and more, but the call of home was strong. With a mix of sadness and anticipation, they boarded their ascent vehicle and blasted off from the Martian surface, rejoining their orbiting ship for the long journey home. As Earth came into view once more, now a welcoming blue beacon after their long absence, Sarah reflected on their journey. They had pushed the boundaries of human exploration, opened up new frontiers of scientific knowledge, and paved the way for future missions. But more than that, they had demonstrated the incredible potential of human cooperation and determination. Their spacecraft streaked across Earth's sky like a shooting star, a fitting symbol of the dreams they had chased across the solar system. As they prepared for re-entry, Sarah knew that while their journey was ending, humanity's cosmic odyssey was just beginning. Mars was only the first step. The stars themselves awaited.